Hey now everyone, it's Steve Sievers for Bionic Buzz. We're here at the Odyssey Beach Festival here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This festival has so much amazing stuff. It's like a mile long on the beach with awesome installations from sponsors. This is all part of Odyssey's I'm Listening is part of helping out mental health awareness. And of course, a great lineup of bands. Now before we get started, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's go see who we can talk to on the red carpet. Good man. Andrew. Nice to meet you. I uh, last saw you at House of Blues. You did like kind of a storyteller's kind of concert, oh, which were, I loved. Was you that know? The three pianos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think more artists should do that. Like I could, you explain the stories yeah. behind the, the songs and yeah. performed them from all three of your different artist acts, I would say. You know? Thank you, man. Well, thanks for coming out to that. That was a, uh, I mean, it was kind of on the heels of the, the book coming out, right? So mm -hmm. I had done a memoir. That was how I spent my pandemic was I was like, oh, I'll write a book. And, <laughs> and, and, and so when it, seemed like the lights were gonna come back on and we we're gonna finally get to play some shows. It's like, okay, maybe I can make this tour more about the songs and where they came from and the stories behind them. All right, well, let's do that. I'm gonna do some stories now. Uh -oh. A song, <laughs> uh, Roofless for Something Corporate. Yeah. I love that song from North. You can tell the story behind it. So, I mean, it, it kind of presents as a, uh, uh, a romance yeah. gone, gone awry. Uh, really, it was about uh, somebody that the band worked with kind of coming up and the relationship kind of soured yeah. right and, and I, I, I it was easier for me I think to paint that picture as like a boy girl thing you know I was I think I was 20 at the time when I wrote yeah. the song you know <laughs> and, and so that was a that was a frame that was easy for me to put around that song but it was really about this 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 painful breakup of a, a relationship mm -hmm. um, you know not just with me but the band and, and and somebody that we had worked with over the years that it, that didn't work out all right Jack's mannequin caves I love how it's a long song yeah. very slow builds up and then the walls are caving in <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I know it well. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I guess it's about your experience with cancer, I assume? Or? Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, Caves was really, mm -hmm. I think for me, m the most specific sort of addressing of my, you know, my, my experience as a leukemia patient and, and ultimately as a survivor. So, you know, it, it's a long song for a, a reason, but, uh, yeah. you know, the, 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 the first half of that song is really these, these big moments throughout my treatment, different, mm -hmm. uh, you know, dealing with the nurses in the hospital. And, uh, you know, it's sort of the, the gap between the, the two sections, the sort of, uh, uh, you know, more, you know, ornate, quiet section, the classical piece, um, that bridge is, is when I get the transplant from my sister, right? So, so the walls fell and there I lay, lay saved. And, yeah. and, and everything after is just sort of the chaos of trying to re-enter the world as as somebody whose life has been changed so dramatically. Beautiful song. So. Thank you. Let's get your newest one, VHS. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think with VHS, you know, for me, that song is, is sort of this idea of, like, looking in the rear view, mm -hmm. um, but what you've learned. You know, I, I think there's, there, there's always this tendency for me to kind of, you know, reflect on the past, right? But I, I wanted this record to be sort of this juxtaposition of, Okay, well, if you're going to reflect, what it, what have you learned, and what are you taking into the, mm. into the future? You know, and so for me, VHS is 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 sort of the lessons I've learned from all the stupid shit that I've done over the years. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. Speaking of stupid shit, so the <laughs> corporate I think is coming back <laughs> from <laughs> We Are Young segue. Festival. Yeah. So We Are Young, right? You guys are playing yeah. that. That's yeah, so cool, right? Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, uh, the guys and I, we all got back together on stage for my birthday party uh, uh, in Anaheim uh, back in early September. Nice. And it was, it, it was honestly, I mean, we've kind of done a few things. We did Bamboozle. Yeah, I was at um, Bamboozle. Yeah, yeah. And, but William wasn't with us for that. And we did mm -hmm. a tour, and, and it was sort of the first time where we just, you know, everything is so far in the past. It was just like, we're all just buddies still, yeah, you know? And, 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 and so they, we sort of did it as a surprise. And it was well, like I've been a couple of your shows where some members are there. They jump on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I mean, I'm, we'll, I'll play like something corporate songs tonight. You know, yeah. we like I, I love that catalog. It's mm. it's a part of me and and what I come from. Um, but it was such a vibe, and I think mm -hmm. we just it, it really for all of us was uh, like a beautiful moment to reconnect and and uh, and the opportunity popped up to to sort of like actually tell people we're going to do it rather than have it just be a secret uh, show attached to one of mine. I so. love it. It reminds me of all the warp Tour days back in time. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seeing you up on that piano with all the stickers on it. I remember it well. Those were, <laughs> those were good days. All right, man. Such a pleasure, man. Thank, Thank you. Man. Take Thanks care.